Photo, photo. Photo. Not me, photo. <laughs> okay. Apparently, in Puerto Escondido, they don't like photos. Photos are against the regulations. All right, I'm here. I'm here at my new hostel here in Puerto Escondido. Finally, I've heard so much about this place. I'm super excited to be here. And I'm staying central for a few days before my before I move into my Airbnb down at La Punta. And uh, this is the hostel I'm staying at, Pazzi Flora. It's beautiful. It's very humid and very hot. And it smells like the beach. I love it already. All right, so this is where I'm spending about three nights. I think I'll just show you guys around because I know you're curious about hostels. I'm staying here until my Airbnb is ready. And uh, it's a beautiful hostel. I forget the name. I'll put it in the description. Oh, here we go. Hostel Paziflora. Here we have a bunch of guys discussing philosophy, just a typical hostile conversation. Talking about logic. Like push. Yeah. Maybe women are more something else, and then if you put a turn to spec, there's someone here who could, who could destroy him with their argument, but they're just not around right now. So we are all this that these lies are the most uh brain I'll show you my room. Where I'm sleeping. For a few nights I'm in a bunk bed again. And a lot of you guys were like, I don't know how you can sleep in a bunk bed. It's easy. You close your eyes, you put in earplugs, and you fall asleep. And you use all that money that you save for uh, renting motorcycles and scuba diving and stuff like that. Okay, just so you know, from the airport to get into Puerto Escondido, it's literally five minutes uh, to get to Centro. I know nothing about Puerto Escondido, so I'm just going to walk around, take a look at stuff, and you can have your first impression with me. Let's go. Let's go explore Centro, es Centro Puerto Escondido. Well, we have bugs. I smell marijuana already wafting through the air. It's 29 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Look at this. We got a Mexican guy taking a leak right on the street. Okay. The gym. If you need to work out. I'm getting a little bit of a Southeast Asia vibe here. I mean, I'm downtown and I know it's different than the, the other sections of Puerto Escondido. But it's, it's uh, definitely a very like downtown Mexico vibe. It, you definitely feel like you're in Mexico, but then a pack of gringos will walk by. A bunch of German girls will walk by. So it's kind of, you know, that's the same kind of vibe I had when I was in Southeast Asia in a lot of these beach towns where you'd be really in a very local place, but then a pack of tourists would walk through. All right, here you can see in uh, Centro Puerto Escondido, it's a lot like any other typical town in Mexico, it's busy. You got stores all around. Um, this guy's starting a chainsaw. <laughs> He's starting a chainsaw. You've got taxis, people on scooters. This guy's selling agua, uh, a pharmacy, ropa, clothing stores. Yeah, there's everything you could need. There's everything you could need in downtown Puerto Escondido.
So I just walked a few blocks out of the centro area just to take a look because I, I noticed there's a view. Look at this. Here you can see the landscape. To the right is the ocean. The ocean's down there. And the rest is just arid yet lush Mexico. Look at all those hills. I love hiking. I love hiking. I love going through the hills and exploring nature. So I can't wait to get out there. Check this out, a piñata store. Can you be more Mexican than to own a piñata store? We got here Sonic. Dolce. Inside, see. Sí. Sí. And como time as a piñata. 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 Uh -huh. Ah. Adentro le echan los dulces. Ah. Adentro vamos dulces. Ah. ¿Qué las hacemos? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Valentín. 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 Ah. <laughs> if you need a piñata, Valentín's uh, tienda is a key. Sí. Piñatas. The number oh. Casa de Papel Santi. The Casa de Papel Santi. I don't know what that says. I'll have to YouTube that. It looks like he's making the pinatas here himself with the paper mache. Do, do you make this? Ah. Wait over there. He's gonna give me a look back here in the pinata factory. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Ah, uh, see? Here's the pinatas, they're in in the state of construction. Muchas gracias. You probably expected to see some beaches and beautiful people, but instead I'm in the industrial area here in Puerto Escondido. And you've just got auto shops, barberias, a few restaurants, photo shops, and here it looks like a print shop. Or maybe he's making some uh, t-shirts or some photos. ¿Qué está haciendo, amigo? Ah, on here. Mm. Oh, t-shirts. I see. So he's pressing t-shirts. Muchas gracias. As we start to get closer to the beach, you can see more bars, cocktailerias, a lot more little scooters. Here's a look at the magnificence. This is why people come here. Look at this view. So we've got Centro to the right, downtown. And of course, there's some beautiful beachfront property over here on the hills. And this is Zicatella, which I haven't explored yet. I'm staying in Centro for a few days. And then I'll be moving down there to La Punta. The surfer spot, the hippie spot, that's where I'll be living. What a beautiful view. Hey, so I just walked into this cafe, Cafe La Fe, and actually it's a really beautiful cafe and I got super fast Wi-Fi here, like 20 megabytes download. Which is unheard of, apparently. Well, I'll just give you a look so you can see what this place looks like. Oh. You can see they have a lot of handmade crafts for sale. It's a family-owned cafe. And here we have some family. Hola. <laughs> They're the locals who work here. And it's a beautiful... Beautiful establishment with beautiful people, and they have really great coffee. Look at the back here. 
So a popular thing to do here is to rent a scooter and I'll just show you the scooter rental prices here. You can also buy some sunglasses if you need them. Right. I'm going to show people. So here's the prices right now for uh, renting a scooters. 300 a day for a 125cc. Yeah. And it looks like fishing is a popular activity here as well. And if you need to get yourself a badass pellet gun, Puerto Escondido has you covered. So this area around here is a lot more beach, beach townish. It looks like a beer store and a little peril. Hey girl, hola, hola amigo. Can I keep your dog? Oh, I'll take him. I would. Uh... <laughs> I'm making. I'm making your dog a movie star. Okay, that's cool. Amigo, high five. Oh, yes. Look at this, the girl gave me the dog. This is the local beer store. What? It's the beer store. Yeah. It's a nice Mandela. Gracias. Puerto Escondido actually has multiple beaches. Some of them are great for swimming. Some of them are great for surfing. I'm going to one called Playa Manzillo and it's supposed to be a nice beach for swimming. So let's go check it out. It's just down the road here. All right, check out the beachfront property as we get closer to the water. The resorts start to pop up. All right, I can hear it. I can hear the ocean. I can hear children splashing in the waves and young lovers frolicking amongst the rocks and sea froth. All right, here we are. Oh, it just reeks of sea ocean smell. Looks like I found the beginning of a beach party. DJs, alcohol. Let's go take a look. Oh, it's open. Vietnamese food. This is like a rice wrap. Yeah, yeah. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Perfecto. Impressive. Look at this place. This place is epic. How's the snorkeling here? Is the snorkeling good? It was, uh, it was okay. I think. Can you see any fish? A lot of fish. But, uh, There's a turtle. No, I, I wanted to try to find a turtle, but I think it's better in the, in the morning. Is he here? Huh? There's a turtle that lives here? Or many turtles? There's many turtles here. Oh. But in the morning it's better. What time? Before the, this opens. All right, let's carry on down the road. Hi. Hi. <laughs> let's see what's down here.
So from what I've heard, the Europeans that I've met said the Europeans like to hang out on this side of the beach and the Mexicans like to hang out over here. Only Mexicans I heard. Let's see. Well, it's a busy, busy Saturday at the beach, at, at the playa. Playa. I'm here with my new friend Roberto. Yeah. And he's an American, Mexican, and your, his story, your story about how you came to America <laughs> is, is amazing. Yeah. So can you, uh, how did you get across when you were 15 years old to America? Just cross the border. You hit like any, Yeah, like anybody else. Just cross the border and that's it, I'm there. And now your brother, he owns... My uh, brother owns uh, one of the best restaurants in Chicago. Nice. What's it called? La Escarola. Las Carola. Yeah. So now when I go to Las Carola, I get free food free at the drinks. best restaurant. Oh, you know what? You get free tequilas because my brother loves tequilas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think is the best tequila I can get here for a reasonable price? Oh, uh, here you can get mezcal. 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 Tequila you can get. You know what? I've never tried any tequila. Here. I drink mezcal or uh, whiskey. It's much cheaper here than in in Canada. Tequila is so expensive. It's more. Yeah, right now it's kind of shortish or something like that. Yeah. And so you're here with your family. Yeah. And my you brought sister, them down. My sister, my mother, my wife. Yeah. Everybody, a big Mexican family. Yeah. Huh? And they're all. Um, were your kids born in America or born? Yeah, here? They, they're in America. Yeah. That's an amazing story. So. He snuck across the border hitchhiking, but he managed to get his citizenship in America and now he's bought a house here in Puerto Escondido. And yeah. you're living the dream, man. Always. <laughs> I'm living the dream always. Yeah. Oh, Oyster is fresh from the playa. No, it's a lugar especial. Ah. Pinta colorada. Over there. Viente Minutos. So the oysters, they're not from here? No. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, so these oysters, they're not pulling them right out of the ocean here, but they're pulling them from a, another part of the ocean. I found a sunset bar and restaurant. And it's not sunset yet, but look at that view. The vista. Vista is bonita. Si, sí, claro. <laughs> well guys, I'm here for a month. So who knows what sorts of adventures I'll get into. Uh, I work a lot, I work full time. It's intense, but I'm I'm banking that, that cash so I can uh, fund more adventures in the future to more expensive places.